Welcome back to another video from Northwest Bosnia. I'm David, an Englishman in the Balkans, and this channel is stories from Bosnia and Herzegovina. So yeah, it's all about my life here, what I'm experiencing, uh, and I hope that you'll enjoy that and you'll want to come and experience it uh, as well. I'm in the village today. Uh, it's overcast, about 25, and that is so amazingly cool uh, at the moment because this past weekend, it's been so, so hot. Tamara and I were in Banja Luka for, to look at two events. Uh, one is on a previous video, which is about Game of Drones. Do check that out. Um, but we also spent some time at uh, Banja Luka's castle. It's called the Castle. It's uh, an iconic piece of Banja Luka itself. It's on the River Verbas. Don't worry about the cars. Uh, and it's bursting uh, with history and it's a must visit for anybody that comes to the city. Um, every year, or apart from Corona of course, uh, they have the Castrum Fest, which is a medieval reenactment festival. That's what I would call it anyway, because for three days they have people uh, at the castle, knights in armour, ladies looking splendid in their costumes, lots of traditional activities. You can see how people used to uh, use archery uh, as part of their everyday life. There's clothes, there's all sorts of trinkets uh, to buy and a lot of history to learn about. And it really is a return to Banja Luka of the age of chivalry from what Serbia and this area used to be like back in the 11 and 1200s. So we went along actually to day three. We'd missed uh, the first two days because that is amazing. Uh, I did see it on television. There are a parade of horses coming into the city centre to the major uh, cathedral. And there is a, a reenactment of a wedding. I'll tell you a little bit about that uh, in a minute. And it's just absolutely fantastic. We had a blast when we were there. Having said that, it was very hot. There weren't many people because all sensible people were uh, hiding uh, from the sun in the shade. So here we go. Let's have a look at what we managed to see when we were in the castle for Castrum 2022. Well, the organizers of the Knights Festival is the Sovereign Military Knights Order and they're called the Guardians of the Spear of St. George and they are from Banja Luka. Uh, and this particular reenactment event puts Banja Luka on the map of night tournaments both across the region and the world. And I was talking to Vesna, who's one of the organizers of the event, and they're hoping actually to have knights uh, from the United Kingdom next year. So that'll be pretty cool. The event uh, brings back to life those pastimes of knights and their ladies, their armor, the weapons, the clothes. Unfortunately, we didn't have too much in the way of food, knightly food uh, uh, on offer at all. But it is the lost age of chivalry coming back and it's giving i think new generations the opportunity to learn firsthand how people once lived fought and maybe loved it's uh, focused on the stone house which is this stone building inside uh, the walls of banja luka's iconic castle and there was a special exhibition this year called cyrillic is my letter uh, and it's featuring an exact copy of miroslav's gospel a medieval sword retrieved from the river Verbas, which I thought actually looked a little bit like the sword in the stone from King Arthur's story uh, back in the country where I come, the United Kingdom. And also a splendid exhibition of costumes from a recent TV series about the Nemanjic uh, dynasty. They're very famous, in, especially in Serbian history. Uh, and it's called, there was a TV program called Birth uh, of a Kingdom. And as I said earlier, the first day of the festival is a gathering in front of the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour. You must go and see that when you come to Banja Luka. Uh, and there they reenact the wedding of King Stefan Dragutin and the Hungarian Princess Catalina. I mean, all over Europe during those times, wasn't it? You used to get married, not for love, but to get more property, to get more land. Um, and followed by a ceremonial parade of events uh, from the church down to the fortress where you can see the activities are happening at the moment. And also this year they opened up with a concert from local ethno groups Trag and Eva. So lots of uh, ancient meets modern ethno music mix. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. enjoyed that short look at some of the historic events that happen here uh, in Banyaluka, a city that is near where we live and where we're filming from today. It's about 15 kilometers away. A lot quieter here than obviously in a city, but it's a beautiful place to live and it's a beautiful place uh, to come and visit. So that's all for this video. Um, if you do uh, like the video, please share it. Uh, with friends and if you know anybody that comes from this area no longer lives in this area especially the northwest of Bosnia and Herzegovina please uh, do point them towards the channel they might get uh, a little bit of nostalgia which might make them happy in what I think at the moment can be quite trying times okay so that's it from me David and I'll see you in the next video <laughs>